Hey, what's up, you guys? I sold my Jackson's Chameleon and uh, decided to use this cage for something else uh, for now. And when my bearded dragon outgrows that 20 gallon long, I will put him in here, make a background and everything. But for now, I'm just using it for lizards that um, my cat catches or that neighbors are about to run over or stuff like that. So, um, here are the two lizards that I have now. Uh, one eastern fence lizard and another um, some sort of skink. I've never seen them before, uh, but they are very fast. Um, heavy bur burrowers, and I think he just lost a piece of his tail. Yep, he just lost a piece of his tail. So that's just kind of awkward. <laughs> but there he is. He has kind of an orange red face. It's just really cool. And then a dark greenish blue body. He's really cool. Try and hold him. Spazzing out. Oh, stop it. Gosh. Here we go. Yes, I know you don't like to be handled. Just doing it for the video. Yeah, he's really cool. Um, again, the spaz and my cat, uh, got a hold of him back there, so, yeah, but they seem to be clotting, so, I have eco-earth that's pretty moist, uh, for him to burrow down in, cause he loves to burrow, and then for the upper half, I have my eastern fence lizard, And it's doing great. Um, my neighbor says that they keep finding lots of them in their house. So they're going to try and let me keep any of them that they can catch. So I really like these guys. They're like native bearded dragons to me. <laughs> they just watch you from across the room. It's just pretty cool. Um, I have heat cable along the back. And uh, it's just lots of heat cable from the leopard gecko rack. Uh, see, comes out. Yeah. Um, so that keeps the whole enclosure heated. And then I have a full spectrum UV, uh, 100, I want to say 125 watt uh, halogen bulb. So that gives them everything they need. And. Um, again, it's a 65-gallon reptarium, and it has lots of ventilation, and it's awesome. So, yeah, thanks for watching. That was awkward.